I thank the member. Uh, the member for Cook is seeking a call. I am. Madam Deputy Speaker, I move uh, that so much of standing and sessional orders be suspended as would prevent the member for Cook moving forthwith that the report from the Selection Committee meeting of June 18, 2013, at 5 p.m., be immediately tabled and reported to the House. Ma Madam Deputy Speaker, earlier today uh, I asked the Speaker uh, when the Speaker intended to table the report of the Selection Committee before the House, and she indicated that would be done after question time today in accordance with that process. Now, Madam Deputy Speaker, at issue here is the fact that prior to that meeting yesterday, the Coalition has sought to have the bill uh, regarding the uh, migration amendments to implement the 457 scheme to be referred to the Education and Employment Committee that uh, has just been reported on before this House. What the government is seeking to do is, if the Selection Committee indeed has decided to refer that bill to the committee, then that bill cannot be debated in this place until that committee has considered that bill. Now, what the government are trying to do here, Madam Deputy Speaker, is avoid the parliamentary scrutiny of what is one of the most shameless attacks on skilled migrants that has come before this place and it is being done at the behest of the union movement. And this motion, Madam Deputy Speaker, and the reason why standing and session orders need to be suspended is to ensure that this government cannot ram through their union-driven attacks on skilled migration through this parliament over the last two sitting weeks of the 43rd parliament. That is the intention. That is the intention of the government. And last night they tried this on and they were beaten in this House of Representatives. The government was defeated in the House of Representatives when they tried to bring this on. And one of the reasons they were defeated is that the Minister for Immigration, whose own bill this was the subject of, couldn't be bothered even turning up for the vote that would see his bill put before it. This is a shameless attack on process in this House, Madam Speaker, and it should not be allowed to continue, and standing and sessional orders should be suspended to allow Bill that Cook report will to be tabled. His seat. I will just give some advice, though. The selection report hasn't been tabled. It's still privileged. You know, discussing the contents, just putting. I'm clearly putting on record. It has not been tabled. The parliamentary secretary has the call. I'm not aware whether the uh, no. The parliamentary secretary doesn't need to get involved in that debate. The parliamentary secretary has the call. I'm not aware whether the gentleman's finished his remarks, so therefore I can't move the, the suspension of uh, uh, his remarks um, because I'm not sure whether he's finished or not. Are you halfway through, or you, had you the, sat down? Well, I, I move that you no longer be heard. The question is. The question is that the member be no longer heard. All of those of that opinion say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. Think the ayes have it? No, no's have it. Division required. Ring the bells for four minutes.
Lock the doors. Lock the doors. The question is that the member be no longer heard. The eyes will pass to the right of the chair, the nose to the left. I appoint the members for Morton and McEwen tell us for the eyes, and the members for Barker and Parks tell us for the nose. <laughs> Not big.
result of the division is ayes 67, noes 73. The question is therefore negated. Design. Is the motion seconded? The member for Sturt. I do second the motion, Madam Speaker, and I second the motion because it's very important that the House knows what the selection committee decided last night the member in its for committee Sturt will meeting report. His seat. The member for Sturt will resume his seat. The Leader of the House. Thank you, Speaker. Um, Speaker, I seek your guidance. I was very concerned. Order. Uh, with with Order. comments by the member for Sturt will this resume is a serious issue. his seat. And you're not in charge. You're not the in charge. The member for Sturt will resume his seat. The member for Sturt. The Leader of the House on a point of order? Yes, it's a serious point of order, Speaker. It goes to whether there's been a breach of privilege of this parliament. Uh, with regard to. With... The... Sit down. The member for Sturt will resume his seat. The Leader of the House. It, it goes to the issue of whether there has been a serious breach of privilege due to the comments. We'll raise it as a breach of privilege later after the, the member for Sturt, if he allows the Leader of the House to finish, we will get there. The Leader of the House has the call. By the member for Cook, in his comments last night, his comments uh, today again would would clearly indicate clearly indicate that there has been a breach of privilege and I ask you, Speaker, uh, for your guidance on the, how to deal. The Leader of the House will resume his seat. The, mem the Leader of the House will resume his seat. The Member for Cook will withdraw. The I withdraw. The Member for Sturt will resume his seat. As I have already indicated, I have grave concerns already about privilege and this issue. I also have grave concerns about the process of the selection committee, which has run successfully in this parliament, now being tampered with. I, as Speaker, have already expressed my concerns, and the tabling of the report is in accordance, as I indicated this morning, with the procedures adopted at the beginning of this parliament and to some no no i'm saying you are politicizing what had been a selection process and i'm expressing that concern but i am allowing you to continue with the suspension but i am noting my concern which i don't believe is outrageous at all but something a speaker should have the right to do the member for sturt has the call Speaker, I certainly wouldn't want to reflect on the, the chair, so I won't comment on your contribution to the debate. I will simply say I didn't reflect on the chair. I simply said I wouldn't reflect on the chair by commenting on her contribution to the debate, which is not a reflection on anyone. So stop your faux outrage and allow the debate to continue. The member for Sturt will resume. The member for Sturt will resume his seat. The member for Dunkley might want to reflect on that remark. The Leader of the House has the call. I move that the member be no longer heard. The question is that the member be no longer heard. All of those of that opinion say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. no. Think the ayes have it. Division required. Ring the bells for four minutes.
Don't, <laughs> don't fall over, please. That would be bad. <laughs> Lock the doors. The question is that the member be no longer heard. The eyes will pass the right of the chair, the nose, the left. I appoint the members for McEwen and Morton tellers for the eyes and the member for Barker and Parks as tellers for the nose.
The result of division is ayes 64, no 72. The question is therefore negated. The time for the debate has expired. The clerk. The member for Cook is seeking the call on another point of order. No, I, I move, Madam Speaker, that so much of standing and session orders be suspended to enable the member for Cook to move the following motion. That the House not consider government business order of the day number one, the Migration Amendment Temporary Sponsored Visas Bill, until such time as a, a full research report is completed on the true incidents and nature of abuses and non compliance within the 457 Visas Program in comparison to other programs by the Department of Immigration and Citizenship to substantiate the requirement for the measures proposed in the bill. B, a full consultation program with industry and other stakeholders has been conducted by the Department of Immigration and Citizenship on the impacts of the measures contained in the bill, and c. A regulatory impact statement has been completed by the government in relation to Schedule 2 of the bill 
relating to the proposed labour market testing regime as required by the Office of Best Practice Regulation and submitted to the Parliament. Madam Speaker, this is a bill that the government is seeking to ram through for the unions the before the election. The member resume his seat, the Leader of the House. Point of order, uh, Speaker. Uh, this is... Order. The member has the right to move his point of order. The member for Cook doesn't have the call. The Leader of the House does. Leader of the House. Thank you, Speaker. This is the second sus attempted suspension of standing orders in a row. In the past, it has been ruled by previous speakers that where there are concessional, uh, 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 continue, consecutive, uh, thank you, consecutive suspensions of standing orders in order, in order to disrupt the parliament, it has been regarded as disorderly conduct, and uh, given. Uh, the uh, state uh, of the parliament in our last sitting days and the amount of business that is before the parliament, I uh, fail to understand, fail to understand uh, what is motivating uh, the member for Cook in moving uh, this, uh, this motion. Uh, the fact is that this legislation was introduced in the normal way and is being the dealt leader, with in the normal way. The Leader of the House will resume his seat. The member for Sturt will resume his seat. Yes, it is a consecutive suspension, but it is a different suspension. The member for Cook has the call. Thank you, Madam, Dep Ma Madam Speaker. The point of this motion is to suspend session on standing orders to prevent this bill being debated in this parliament because the government has not consulted, they have not done order, their homework, order. they are making order. up member claims. Cook. Right. Member Cook has the call. They are making up uh, claims about abuses in the system. 10,000 abuses, the minister has said, and he's had to openly admit that he just completely made it up. And that is the basis for the bill that is becoming for this parliament on the behest of the right. unions. The just how Cook much more union business seat. do you want to get? The member for Cook will resume his seat. The minister has the call. Point of order. The member for Cook is casting aspersions on the minister he is not allowed he is not allowed during a suspension of standing orders he must discuss why standing orders should be suspended he hasn't mentioned one word about that and he is out of order the member for cook has the call thank you madam deputy speaker standing and session orders should be suspended because the government is seeking to ram through a union driven bill through this parliament in the last days of the 43rd parliament now madam deputy speaker this bill has not been subject to the proper consultation and processes necessary the for this house to consider it and the government is seeking to ram through things on behalf of the unions the minister yes uh, speaker uh, Yes, Deputy Speaker. Standing Order 90, reflections on members, indicates all imputations of improper motives to a member and all personal reflections on other members shall be considered highly disorderly. The, the member for Cook has reflected on the motivations of the minister who has brought this legislation before the parliament. And the manager of opposition business has just indicated again, again, that the member for Cook is being disorderly by, by pointing out that he is putting forward the argument. He must stick to why standing orders should be suspended, and he must withdraw the reflection on the minister. And he should withdraw. Thank the minister. I ask the member for Cook to withdraw, withdraw as requested what? by the minister. To assist the House, I withdraw. Madam, I appreciate Madam that. Deputy the Speaker, let me table for the benefit of the House. The motion. Let me table for the benefit of the House the open letter to members of this parliament uh, from the Australian Industry Group, the Business Council of Australia and Migration Council of Australia, who have re refuted the claims made up by the minister about 10,000 abusers of the system. We are greatly concerned, it says, by the lack of supporting evidence, damaging rhetoric yeah. and poor process. The this is why Cook standing orders need to be suspended, because process and consultation the has not Cook been followed. His seat. He's still not speaking to the motion to suspend. The minister. The manager of government business. There, there is some element of irony in those opposite objecting to points of order being made. 
But, uh, but uh, none, uh, nonetheless, Deputy Speaker, this is a motion to suspend standing orders, and the member Order. for Cook. You never got to be speaker, Bronwyn. The, no, the minister has the call and will uh, and address his member, point of order. The, the, the member for Cook. The member for Cook must address why standing orders should be suspended. And further to my point of order, under Standing Order 65, Deputy Speaker, whilst I've been giving my point of order, the member for McKellar has continued to interject and throw slurs across the chamber, as has the manager of opposition okay. business. Both of them, both of them clearly want to be speaker, right. the, and there's yeah. been opportunities to put themselves forward okay. before now. The minister has made his point of order. The member for Cook will continue Mr. Speaker, as I addressing was saying, the motion before the, the House. Standing and sessional orders should be suspended because this government is seeking to ram through a bill through this parliament without pro following proper process and without doing the proper consultation and homework on the bill that is required. And again, I seek further to read the, from the letter. The Damaging red The member for Cook will resume his seat. The Minister. Order indicates that you cannot make imputations against members. As Leader of the House, I have strong objections to the imputation that a bill is being rammed through this parliament when there is no bill even being discussed in this parliament. The minister no one on this side of the House has moved that any questions be put. Uh, what we seek to facilitate the is his discussion. Seat. The Minister will resume his seat. The member for McKellar is seeking the call. I would refer you to page 189 of the practice. I would refer you to the paragraph that says, members have been disciplined by the chair for raising spurious or frivolous points of order, for introducing debate when raising on a point of order, and for persisting with the matter. And the, as chair, Madam Deputy Speaker, it is incumbent upon you to rule him out of order and not take any more points of order, as the chair has often done when she sees that it is yet another spurious right. point of order. The member and for has made her point of order. The member for Cook has made her point of order. The member for Cook. Deputy Speaker, standing and sessional orders need to be suspended in order to ensure that this government. The will member for Cook. Well, his seat. The minister is seeking the call. I move that the member be no longer heard. The question is that the motion be agreed to. All those of that opinion say aye. aye. Contrary, no. Aye. I think the ayes have it. Aye. Division required. Ring the bells for four minutes.
The question is that the member be no longer heard. The eyes will pass the right of the chair, the nose to the left. I appoint the members for Morton and McEwen tell us for the eyes and Barker and Parks tell us for the nose.
The result of the division is ayes 64, no 71. The question is therefore negated. Is the motion seconded? The member for Brisbane. Thank you very much, uh, Speaker. I second this motion. Um, this bill is based on a false premise. It's based on the fact that the minister has made up the number of rorts the in order to run Brisbane down the 457 will resume program. Her seat. The member for Brisbane will resume her seat. The Leader of the House. Firstly, uh, under Standing Order 90, the member must withdraw that allegation against the minister. The member for Brisbane could withdraw for the assistance of the House and to progress. The member for Brisbane has the call. Speaker, um, I withdraw, Thank the member. but the bill is still based on a false premise on the number of uh, the member supposed for Brisbane in... will resume her seat. The Leader of the House. Speaker, this is a suspension of standing orders. The member must address why standing the Leader of the House will resume. The Leader of the House will resume his seats, and the individuals around will desist from assisting the chair. The Leader of the House. Why standing orders should be suspended the and not address the substance of the motion? The and, leader and, and I ask that that be withdrawn from the member for McKellar. The Leader of the House will resume his seat. The member for McKellar will withdraw. I withdraw. I thank the member. The member for Brisbane has the call and must address the motion before the House. Uh, thank you, Speaker. Um, standing and sessional orders should be suspended. Because the member for Brisbane has the call. The Leader of the House is not assisting. Standing and sessional orders should be suspended because the premise on which the bill is brought into the House is on a premise that no research has been done. Uh, on the particular incidents and natures of abuse. A full consultation with industry and other stakeholders has not occurred by the Department of Immigration, and the a regulatory impact Brisbane statement has not been brought into the House. A bill cannot... The member for Brisbane will resume her seat. The Leader of the House. The member for Brisbane almost got there, Speaker, but I move that the member be no longer heard. The question is that the member be no longer heard. All those of that opinion say aye. To the contrary, no. I think the uh, Oh, the I, I the leader it. of the house. Order. The leader no. of the house, and people should be aware. In the middle of a division, making comments is even more dubious than when we're actually in the normal process. The leader of the house. I'd ask the member for McKellar to withdraw. The member for McKellar, I did not hear the comment. I'm not going to ask the member for McKellar to withdraw, but I will remind people that reflections on members is highly inappropriate. The question is, the member be no longer heard. All of those of that opinion say aye. To the contrary, no. no. Think the ayes have it. No's have, no, have it. Division required. Ring the bells for four minutes.
Lock the doors. The question is that the member be no longer heard. The eyes will pass the right of the chair, the nose to the left. I appoint the members for McEwen and Morton tell us for the eyes, and the members for Barker and Parks tell us for the nose.
The result of the division is ayes 63, noes 71. The question is therefore negated. The time for the debate has concluded. The clerk.